right. Coming at you for the first time in quite a while. I'm on a new piece of public. I have never so much as driven by this area right here. The area that I normally hunt is closed. All I can do is shoot does with my bow. So I'm gonna just kind of walk back here and see if I can find anything that looks halfway decent. Just be nice to hunt a new place. Get some new, get eyes on some new areas and new scenery. Hopefully, we'll find something good. I really haven't even looked at the map much. Just kind of walking. This is nice. Nice change. I don't know. A mile and a half, maybe two miles back here. And uh, the spot where I was going to haunt is just kind of full of water right now. It's all this right here. Kind of swamp, swamp bottom. I got uh, cut bean fields over here behind me. This big rub right here on this high ground. I'm just gonna kind of walk the edge of this and see if I can find a spot that looks like it might be a little bit easier to cross for these deer off of this swamp. It kind of elbows around here in just a minute. So that's where I'm looking at to set up. It was kind of, kind of worked that way. I saw a coyote in one of these fields a second ago. So I tried to get kind of far away from him. I don't think he probably messed it too much up, but he could. So I'm just going to push in just a little bit until I get to that elbow or if I find something that looks good. further up from that blowdown. I'm glad I did. That swamp right here, that same one, and it kind of goes back down that way. As it kind of cuts back this way in front of me, it's really, really nasty. It's super thick. And it's got a lot of water in it, but there's some high ground. And I got a real long stretch of woods right here going off to my left. Crop field behind me. Another one probably 300 yards in front of me. So here's the thing that makes this spot really interesting. Is there's like a, a dike type deal. That cuts across the water right here. So it's a high ground. And it cuts across right here. I don't know how far it goes. I didn't walk the whole thing. But it is. What it looks like is about the only spot that a deer could cross that water without getting wet. That's a really nice feature, a really good funnel, and it's probably the reason why there's so much sign in here in this concentrated spot. We're a long ways back here. But I will kill a doe if I see one. If I see a buck, then I guess we'll just film it.
Well, folks, I'm going to tell you about what just happened this evening. In case you did not know, I'm a freaking idiot. So, you heard me say, I thought I saw a deer. I thought there was a deer over there. Got to look in, all of a sudden a raccoon pops out. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's what it was. I was like, well, I'll shoot him. That'd be fun. So I freaking shot him. I, just, I think I got it on camera. I, don't, I honestly don't know. He was standing right here. And I hit the stupid joker. And I know because of two reasons. One, there's blood underneath this tree. The thing climbed up. And I'm pretty sure he's dead up there. Well, that's not that big of a deal. I guess I shot him and he went up there and died. Here's the crap. He took my freaking arrow up there. I don't know how. I guess it pinned him. It pinned him down. He pulled it up out of the ground. Then went up there. Well, so while all that crap's going on, I'm sitting there watching him, thinking maybe I missed or something. I don't know. Because he climbs up the tree and he's just looking at me. I'm sitting there watching him. All of a sudden, three freaking deer ran off and they were right like right next to me while I'm sitting there being an idiot thinking about raccoons oh my god so could have shot a deer didn't shoot a deer shot a uh, raccoon he took my arrow up there and he's probably laying dead right up where that knot is you can kind of see that knot in the tree and he's probably laying dead up there with my arrow. Gosh dang it. That freaking sucks. Oh, well, we're back at it. Back at the same spot we were at. Same parking area. Only difference is, is today I've got the Rona. So, tested positive yesterday for it. I don't feel terrible. It's highly recommended to um, be active and so I thought, well, I don't feel all that bad. So we're going to try to kill a deer. Hopefully it doesn't get, a much, get much worse. I'm got a little bit of a headache and stuff like that. But I figured what better way to be socially distant than to come out of the woods. Wife and kids are all at home. My wife tested negative, so that's good. I just pulled up to the gate and it's really stinking foggy. So I'm hoping that maybe gives me a little bit more time, a little bit more cover to get set up. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go to the same spot that I went to the other day. I got a couple more arrows set up last night and uh, planning on getting out here and trying to see if we can kill something. I think it'd be fun. Uh, obviously not using my kayak again. Um, even though, actually I probably could out here. It's pretty flooded, but... Uh, I wore my correct boots, so I should be able to just cross right through that swamp, no problem. But we can get out there, and get our stuff ready, get out there, and get ready to go. Already had a deer come by, right here next to me. Actually, he got right here, like ten yards, and kind of. Hopped off, he knew someone right. So hopefully, I think we're in a good spot. The thing that I noticed last time I was in here is most of the deer sign is right on the edge of this of these water, little waterways right here. I came back. I basically backtracked where I was at last time I was in here. I came back to where the deer actually came from. To a little pinch, there's a big crop field right here comes to a corner and then this water right here so I feel like these deer are gonna come right through here I got right next to the water my wind is supposed to be kind of blowing back this way but first thing in the morning and it's a cloudy day my thermal should pull towards that water I, I do think we're in a good area we're in a good spot good position so hopefully be able to get something
was incredible. I could have shot that deer so easily. Wow. Whoa, hi Mike. I'm tore up. I could have shot him at like 10 yards. Less than that, he was really, he was like right here. I was trying to get my camera around this bridge. There he is right there. I think I'm gonna sit about 10 more minutes till 11 and uh, then get down. That was crazy, man. That was nuts. People always tell me the times when I've been tagged out and I still keep going hunting for uh, does and stuff. People always tell me I'm crazy. Like, what are you gonna do if Big Buck walks out? I guess I'm just kind of filming. <laughs> just being able to get one on film knowing that you could have shot it easily I mean that would have been an easy shot right here right underneath me knowing that you could have shot him is just as good as shooting him at least, at least that's what I'm going to tell myself but in this state you can hunt the rut these deer are in rut right now we're at the, the tail end of it it's January the 22nd and these deer are rutting. All these bucks I've seen today were cruising. And, uh, I mean, it's just insane. Knowing that in the state of Alabama, you can hunt the rut from, dang, the end of October all the way through the end of the season, if you wanted to. And I'm probably only 30 steps, or 30 minutes away from my doorstep right now. I'm jacked up. That was fun. That was a really cool hunt. That may be even better than killing a doe, honestly. You'd be able to see that buck just super close range. It's awesome. In a new place. I've only hunted here twice. This is the second time I've hunted here. It's been a really good season. I would like to kill one more deer. I killed nine. So I know some of you guys probably think it's ridiculous for somebody to kill that many deer. I give a lot away to people in the church and stuff. Um, but I've killed nine, and I would really like to get to that number 10 for whatever reason. That would just be freaking cool. But if it doesn't happen, it's still been a dang good season. It's been so much fun. But I'm going to start packing up all my stuff and get going. Dang, that was cool. That was freaking cool. <laughs>